hi, I'm a lesbian, or at least I think I'm a lesbian. Yes, but I'm the biggest. Let's be wrong. This is just to prove why be why be I'm gonna come on here and have a good time. Oh yeah. Oh, they saw my tum tum! The moon landing didn't happen. Oh sorry, I heard it. What? Hey Gauls, how you doing? Amberlin started a new series called So Raw, which is basically a Q&A video. I'm guessing she is still bed bound because we are back in the cycle where she is doing these boring Q&A videos. We are going to watch her latest video and let me tell you that she is becoming even more insufferable. She is preaching the whole video and she is being super passive aggressive lol. Hey guys, so welcome to So Raw episode 3. Like, we're already on the third episode, I know some of you thought that I was gonna like end it after episode one. No, we are going until we can't go no longer. Wow, such a huge accomplishment, Gaul. Do you need a standing ovation for sitting on your ass and responding to questions? That's the easiest shit ever. Today I'm wearing my Barbie shirt because I am a Barbie. No, I'm just kidding. I, I think Torrid's Barbie collection is always so cute and comfy. I personally like off the shoulder situation type deals. So I'm just like embracing it and loving it and just being a plus size Barbie queen. Like I said, she is becoming more annoying. You are a 31 year old, when are you going to stop talking like a damn 14 year old? The lingo, the gestures, the whole attitude is not cute gall, it looks cringy off. So anyways, the first thing I want to talk about is kind of like a dehumanized update moment because last episode I did talk to you guys about how I feel dehumanized. Yes, the word of the day is dehumanize. God forbid if Amberlin learns a new word, she will say it in every damn video. How does she thinks anyone would take her seriously when she says let's talk about me being dehumanized update moment like gall shut the hell up lol. You sound like a grown ass toddler. And I read some of y'all's comments, I read your guys' messages and a lot of you actually agree with me, especially in my private DMs. You guys made me feel so validated so I completely appreciate that. Yes of course she got a lot of support in her private DM that no one sees lol. Those people are real and they are the ones who request horrid hauls and journal hauls lol. And then there's a portion of people, especially in the comments, I noticed comments are brutal. It's like trendy to be mean to me. But in the comments, people were invalidating my feelings and how I felt. Girl, there is nothing trendy about you, point blank, period. The rest of us who are still watching and commenting are those who invested six plus years into your life. So we don't want it to go to waste, lol. But I wanted to share a few more reasons why I feel like I am dehumanized on my channel. The more she says it, the more stupid she sounds. So you search my name on TikTok and it says... No results found. This phrase may be associated with behavior or content that violates our guidelines. Okay, how? How? Like, literally, I have a TikTok. Okay, what does that have to do with being dehumanized? Is she trying to say that everyone is out to get her or something? There were a lot of people making videos about her on TikTok, and she herself probably reported them lol. Some things are actually in her favor. I remember the Amberlynn Reed thread on Reddit was banned because people were making fun of her, so not everything is bad. And also this happened with, with Instagram as well, and I did nothing. I still have a profile on Instagram, I've never been kicked off of Instagram, so it was nothing I did. So in my head I was like, okay, is it because I'm just controversial, if you will? So I thought of one of the most unliked YouTubers, or what people would like to consider someone who is extremely unliked, which I completely disagree, and I looked up Trisha Paytas on TikTok. She's viewable. She is going to mention some other YouTubers and compares herself to them. She fails to realize that the difference is that these people have huge supporters, and even though they are controversial, the amount of supporters is more than the haters. You have no supporters, Gaul. You have people who sometimes defend you, that's it. I literally am just a small YouTube channel. So I tried to think, okay, so what's the differences between me, Trish, and Shane besides the obvious? Oh, I have an eating disorder. Gaul literally no one cares about that. I still don't understand what she is trying to accomplish by this. You were never an advocate for Ed on TikTok, you are just fat, so what are you even saying? There are many body positivity and fat people on TikTok. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna go on the other side of the spectrum, someone else on YouTube who has an eating disorder and people love to talk about it. Eugenia Cooney, well, there she is. There's a bunch of hashtags with her and a bunch of names with her. So why is there no results found for me? Think for three seconds. Here you go, Gauls. Think for three seconds and let's hear her reasoning, Noel. What could be being posted? I have seen several bullying, fat shaming, etc. things on TikTok that have to do with me. I've seen it, people have sent it to me, and this is just another way where I feel dehumanized. Gaul what? Really this was the climax we were waiting for. She thought she did something, though. Gaul you don't make any sense. Moral of the story is people don't like you, and it won't matter which platform you try to turn to, they are there, Noel. 
I didn't know dehumanize meant being held accountable and not forgetting how a person is. People don't like you gall for the years of lying. It's not even lying anymore, the more you talk and the more we see you talk about various things, the more we dislike you. It's your personality and the way you do things. People call me fat, people call me liar. You guys have created this character, Liar Lynn, that doesn't even exist. Nolan, she said that with a straight face. I don't care what the word is, but you are a liar and a manipulator. You are a person who refuses to grow up and loves playing the victim in every situation she is in. You are fat and it's not a fault that we focus on that. You made us be interested in your weight and weight loss journey. You have been making money off of your obesity, ed, and mental issues for eight damn years. So don't you dare come her and blame us for buying what you sell in Gaul. You guys make me feel like my eating disorder is the only thing that I am, and me being super morbidly obese is the only thing that I am, or, you know, my favorite. I'm a narcissist. But that's all you are Gaul. There are people who suffer from ED and other issues, and they have a life outside of it. They themselves would not let it define them and stop them from doing things. That's not you. You love being defined by your ed. You love bringing up your failures because of your mental issues. You are a millennial who loves having an ed or a mental issues to blame her lack of development in her 31 year of life on. I noticed a lot of people didn't like that I used the word dehumanized, so I decided, here are some other words that I want to show you that also mean around the same thing. To degrade, to diminish, to belittle. And she is shocked that people don't like her lol. The preacher tone she uses infuriates me. You are in no position to lecture us on anything, you know nothing, and we don't want to hear it gall. People diminish my accomplishments, but they make my failures super freaking huge. Like, it's, it's wild. Again, you are a liar. People have always supported you when you succeed in your weight loss. But the thing is majority of your accomplishments are not even considered accomplishments to a normal person. So how are we supposed to congratulate you, Gaul? If you accuse us of doing this, then I can say that you do the opposite. You make your tiny accomplishments a huge deal and brush off the failures, lol. Why are you talking about haters or hater nation? Why are you talking about the reaction channels? It's because I'm finally using my voice. Gaul, shut up. You have been using your voice for years now. You have always complained about reaction channels and the hate you get. It's just that you are bed or housebound and have nothing better to do. This always happens when she herself is insecure about her weight. Then she starts talking like this. Remember Shrimp Gate. I let rumors become false facts because I didn't say anything. I didn't stand up for myself. Are we talking about the same Amberlin? What rumors have you let slide? You are always on IG addressing rumors and you have had Q&A addressing rumors throughout the years. But the thing is, you always comment on the rumors, but no one believe you and that's not going to change now. So the next thing is what happened to your merch? I have gotten this question so many times, so I figured I would answer it now. So the merch I made is simplistic, it's modern in my opinion, it's funny, it's something that I would enjoy wearing. Nice try, Gaul. It was stupid and lazy. If you enjoy wearing it so much, why haven't we seen you wear them? I personally don't like super gaudy or colorful merch. That's not my style. That's not what I want. Do people have different taste in merch and different clothes? Because in no way Amberlynn is a simple style Gaul. She literally wears floral dress that has 10 different colors and designs. She wears jewelry and chokers. What's simplistic about that? Lazy? Instead of just expressing your opinion and saying this isn't my style, it's not something I'm into, I became lazy Lynn. And it's like, nothing is ever good enough. People were begging you to make merch for six plus years, and you came up with the shit. Of course people were disappointed. Did you and YP have sex the first day you met? And we actually did. We don't need to go into detail, but I will say that I was really nervous, but it was amazing, of course. So you know, no one asked that. Amberlynn just wanted to remind us that YP exists. So I want to talk about three conspiracies that I believe in. Here we go, Gauls. We already know that a Gaul is a member of the Flat Earth community, and she doesn't believe in the moon landing. The first one is, I believe, the moon landing didn't happen. Like, we were trying to make it to the moon before Russia, so we lied and said we did it. So another thing is, I believe that a lot of astronaut clips is not really astronauts in space. Okay, the moon landing is understandable since it was a long time ago, but a Gaul doesn't believe in the National Space Station either, lol. Elon Musk is shaking on Mars. Yes, Gaul, all those different countries, including Russia and USA, have agreements to make us all believe that they are in space. The last one is I thoroughly believe that Stevie Wonder is not blind. <laughs> Look at this clip, okay? How does he see in a loud room with loud people, loud singing, loud band, loud audience, how does he know that the microphone is falling? Like, you can't hear that. The microphone, I have been near microphones like that and you don't hear those falling. 
Now this one angered a lot of people because Agal is insinuating that he is lying about being blind. Here are some comments about the situation. You know what's dehumanizing? Speculating on someone's disability. Didn't she get upset for this exact thing with her cancer? Wow, at this point I'm not even surprised anymore. ALR. Complains her experiences get invalidated. Also ALR. Invalidates someone's whole disability because she is a microphone expert. Claiming someone with a disability doesn't have a disability isn't a conspiracy theory gore. Wait so you can call a man out on potentially faking a disability, but get butt shelf hurt when people say you fake the big C. I wanted to do some research about this conspiracy, and I found like three videos on it, so it's not a big conspiracy. She probably saw a Vice video on it, and it convinced her that he wasn't blind. I do understand why people got angry with her because Amberlin is always crying about how people didn't believe her cancer story or her mental issues, so it's hypocritical to say this now. However, we all have seen a lot of Stevie Wonder jokes on YouTube comment sections. I'm not outraged like you guys are, but I do understand where you guys are coming from. So we have a rumor, Amber Lynn is in a poly relationship. So I'm gonna let y'all know right here, right now, I'm a one gal type of gal. I have to be the one and only. So no, I'm not in a poly relationship. My partner is not in a poly relationship, it's just us. But people have been asking my opinion on Nikocado Avocado and how he like shades me all the time and all this stuff. And honestly, my opinion is just that I'm just queen. I'm his muse, I'm entertaining, and I inspire him to be funny and quirky and dainty. So my opinion is that I love that for him. And I hope he continues on the journey of trying to be my uh, clone or something. I don't know. He seems a little obsessed. Lol the condescending tone that we all love. I'm sure Nick Ocado is jealous of you. That's why he makes fun of you, Lol. Lol, he isn't obsessed. He is an attention whore who craves views and money, and he know how to get them. What we do here is go back, 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 back.